The floor is dirty again. So today we're going to be checking out the Ecovax D-Bot X9 Pro Omni, a new advancement in robot mop technology to make our floors cleaner than ever. A huge thank you to Ecovax for sponsoring this video. Let's get started. Now before we dive into what the robot can do, let's check out the new upgraded Omni station. Now first off at the top here you have the dirty water bin, and then here you have the clean water bin. Those are very large, able to hold a lot of water. And then here you have a 150 day dust storage that's packed right in here. And then you have this new slot for cleaning solutions. So it's gonna be a one to 200 ratio that you're gonna put in there, and it's gonna help your floors stay clean and smelling nice for a very long time. Now under here we have the washing station for the mop pad and the great news is it's temperature controlled. So it can go from 40 to 75 degrees Celsius and it's going to be great to keep that mop pad clean. And then once it's done, it comes back here and it can dry up to 63 degrees Celsius to keep odors and um, bacteria from building up and so it's clean the next time. It's gonna be dry in just two hours. So after this does all the cleaning and the washing, it comes back here, cleans the mop pads, puts all the dirty water in here, and you need to empty that out. But everything else on this is about 150 day maintenance from cleaning the tray and everything like that, which is great that this is such a hands-free solution. Now let's dive in and check out the unique features of the X9 Pro Omni. Now the next three features were also on the T80 Omni, but let's talk about how they are working here on the X9 Pro. First off, we have the Osmo self-washing roller mop. So here we have the roller mop system, which is very similar to like a Tenco self-push mop where you're having it automatically clean itself as it's going, and that's how it's working here. This rotates at 220 repetitions per minute, but the great thing about this is that not only is it cleaning the floor, but the roller mop is being cleaned as it's cleaning. So on the back here, this is the dirty water tank. So all the dirty water that it's collecting, it puts into here, and then internally it has another clean water tank that's able to put the water onto the self-washing roller. And as it's cleaning, there are eight different sprayers that it's spraying the roller mop with, so it's cleaning the roller mop as it's cleaning the floor, which is great so that it's not just taking dirt from one part of your floor and putting it on another part of the floor. So let's dive in and look at that closer. So if we take off the roller mop, we can see in here there are eight different sprayers that it's spraying the roller pad with as it is cleaning here, this is turning it. You can also see this little tray that's attached right here and it's scraping the pad and getting all the dirty water off and it's being suctioned out of here while it is cleaning. So it's great that everything is built right into this one system so that your floors are then cleaner than ever after it's done. Roller mop installed. Now this roller mop has higher pressure on the floor than other dual plate vibrating systems at 3,700 Pascal of pressure on the floor, which is 16 times more than the previous models. Now, even though the mop pad isn't as wide, that leads to it being higher pressure on the floor to clean up stains off your floor much easier. Now let's compare the Osmo roller to another dual brush mop. So here with the dual brush, as it's trying to clean up the milk, it's spinning those brushes, but it's not suctioning any of that up or picking any of it up. So you see a ton of the floor. But here with the Osmo roller, as it's going, it's putting that water on the floor. So it's continually adding water and able to suck up some of that water so that you have a nice clean finish the first time it goes over instead of needing to go over multiple times. Now let's go ahead and start a cleaning cycle. So it's gonna go here to the Omni station. It's going to clean the mop pad and get it warmed up and ready to go out and clean. Now as it starts cleaning, it's going to go around the border of the area. And here you can see as it gets to the edge, it's using its True Edge 2.0 technology. So here the roller brush is actually able to slide out and get right up next to the edge within six millimeters. So you're gonna have a full 100% clean floor once it is complete. Now this actually uses a True Edge 3D sensor to be able to align itself right up against the edge of different objects so there are no collisions with it and it's able to go around and perfectly clean and mop right up against the edge there. Now the end result of all of this is having a perfectly clean floor from edge to edge. Now this feature has been so cool because other mops aren't able to reach out and get that edge and here as it's going under the cabinets you can see how clean is able to get right along this, which is something that we miss 
other times and it's able to get right under the cabinet here because it is a thin 98 millimeter so it's great that it has that slim design and can extend out that roller mop to get all the different areas next we're going to head to some carpeted area and talk about the art clean anti-tangle system so this is using zero tangle 3.0 technology first up here we have the side brush so right here the side brush has these two different brushes and that is able to take hair and other things that are out and about and pull them into the main brush. Now the great part about this is this is a zero tangle brush. Other times on other robots, I get lots of hair connected to this so that I have to come and continually take that off. But we've already run this through, we've already cleaned some carpets and there is no hair stuck on here. Then it's gonna feed that down into the main brush here where this also has anti-tangle. So it's going to um, pull that in and as this rotates around, it has this angular design where it's going to pull in the hair into the dustbin so as it's suctioning it's going to take all that hair off so you have no hair left on this which is great to see there's a lot of hair in the home and none of it is stuck on the x9 pro i thought i'd be able to get under the bed i guess not all right let's see how it did with cleaning the floor right here there's no hair Right here, there's a little hair. Well, as it keeps cleaning and using the brush, the hair is going to keep getting pulled into the dustbin. Let's see how that did. So right in here, we can pop off the cover there. We've got lots of dust in here. And uh, let's just go ahead and see what is actually in here. So there you can't see it because this is kind of dirty, but look at all this hair that it picked up and none of that is tangled on the brush. So it's really crazy how much hair it is actually able to pick up and not get tangled with that zero tangling system. And then as for suction power, we just vacuumed this the other day. And again, we already have all of this dust that it's picked up. And that's because this has 16,600 Pascal of suction power to pull all that dirt out of the ground. Uh, it looks like I might have to vacuum one more time. Built into the Ecovacs app, it has a carpet first feature where it's gonna make sure it cleans and vacuums the carpet before it does any mopping. That being said, there is a triple lift feature that if it has been mopping and it's gonna go onto some carpet, it's able to lift up the roller pad a bit so that it's not dragging on the carpet. Let's dive more into what that can do. Now, the biggest benefit of the triple lift system is this makes it the master of dry and wet cleaning. Now, it uses a series of AI to be able to determine what it needs to clean and when. So here, if I have a big old spill on the floor, we don't want it to be spreading that all over when we're trying to vacuum. So is what it's actually going to do is lift up the mop and then it's going to vacuum all the way around it so it's not spreading that further. Now here, if we have a bunch of cereal that's been spilled on the floor, I don't want the side brush being spinning and kicking it out of the way. So it's automatically going to pick that up when it detects that there is some dirt on the floor so that it doesn't push that everywhere so it has a much easier clean. And then finally, if there is extra spills and things on the floor, it's going to adjust those based on what it needs to pick up. So if it needs to mop, it's gonna use the mop. If it's going to pick up dry contents, it's not going to have the side brush out and pick up the mop as well so that it can then clean those up right with the vacuum. So really cool how this new triple lift system works. Now next up we have a feature called Blast which is boosted large airflow suction technology. And as what this allows it to do is have a more flowing airflow throughout the system to really have a deep clean into your carpets. Now with this enhanced aerodynamic design and the industry's first EV grade pouch battery with 2.4 times battery life and 6,400 milliamp hour robust power, Blast generates an unprecedented airflow rate of 16.3 liters per second, as well as a sufficient 16,600 Pascal of suction power with 49% greater airflow volume compared to other systems. This system is giving a 137.6% increase in carpet dust removal rates. Now let's see Blast in action. This is when you're gonna have a bunch of dirt on the floor and it's gonna really pick up that suction and get everything cleaned up. Here we are about to get this pile of cereal. Let's see how it does. Now 
Now let's test out the blast system more. So here we've seen it be able to pick up all kinds of things, hidden dirt on the floor, but let's do a test on how strong that suction is to just pick up a tissue in without getting stuck. And with that blast technology, I had no issues picking up the tissue and all the other dirt that has been placed on my floor. And after a full vacuuming and mopping, this is looking so good. I love how I was able to pinpoint those areas that were stained and had a lot of dirt. You can see that under the table, the dirtiest part is looking great. Over here where we had some other big spills, it cleaned all those up very well. Now that the cleaning has finished, it's returned back to the Omni station to empty the dustbin, clean the mop pad, and now it's using the dryer to dry that up. And then I just need to empty the dirty bin right here. Now, a last feature that I wanna talk about is the voice and smart assistance built into it. So this is Matter compatible. So it's going to work with whatever smart home ecosystem you're using. And then built in, you have your own voice commands using the command OK Eco, which is its voice assistant. So you can ask it to clean the floor, vacuum, mop, um, start charging, docking, all those things right here built into the device without even needing to use another voice assistant, which is really neat. So after using this for the last few weeks, I'm really excited about all the features. I love how it has the enhanced cleaning ability where it's not shooting the different dirt all over the floor. It's able to vacuum that up and it's able to adjust based on if there's a spill or not and clean that all up with its new sensing abilities and that true edge tech getting right up to the edge of the wall is just amazing. So if you want an enhanced robot mop vac, make sure you check out the Ecovax DBot X9 Pro Omni. If you have any questions about it, make sure you check out the comments below and I'll leave a link for it down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.